I do want to stroll down a little bit down uh, memory lane with you. It's Saturday Night Live, one of the all-time greatest skits you were in, the cowbell yeah. sketch. Yeah. What was your uh, recollection of that being put together and then the execution, if you will, of it, Chris? Well, Will Ferrell wrote it. Technically, the name is Recording Studio. That's the that's the name of the sketch. That's the name that he put on the on the sketch okay. on the script right. that we read that Wednesday at the table read. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't remember the read through or anything. I'm sure it went well, but I just remember how much fun everybody was having while we were shooting the scene live while right. it was going on. And and I don't know. It was you know you can never predict when something's going to be a hit and have yes. the longevity that that's had, but. With Walken, with Christopher Walken doing his thing so perfectly, he has such amazing comedic instincts, um, and he just he just sold it perfectly, you know. And then and then Will is hilarious, and yeah. It's, so how did you get assigned to that? I mean, do you get assigned to it or yeah? Or Will, you, whoever writes the the piece yes. or whatever team writes the piece, right. You know, they cast it, right. And unless Lauren has a real objection or something right. to it, you know, it just kind of is. Whoever they put in the role, so right. Will Will did the casting. So what what do you think? Um, what what made everybody crack up the most? Was it was it Walken's delivery, his halting delivery about how he makes gold plated records when he wakes up, or that Will's belly began to show because he really <laughs> laid into the cowbell, Chris? What do you think? I th I, th I think I'd have to look at it and break it down to be able to say yes. with authority. Yes, I think it was both. You know, <laughs> I think it was both. Just what Will was doing around the set, but you know, Walken just killed it. Right. I mean, it was amazing. One of the best. Yeah. Were you also in the Colonel Angus sketch as I was. well with I was. Christopher Walken? That's as right. Well. That's right. Now I'm I kind of am, I need to dance around the subject a little bit here <laughs> sure. on this live broadcast. Sure. Were you concerned at all about uh, that episode sketch? No. Not at all. No. No. I mean, if it you know <laughs> if the censors hadn't said anything about it after the table read, <laughs> you know. That's right. And then you know we did the dress rehearsal and right. nothing and so nothing yeah and then you're like we're in the clear did yeah. you were, were you thinking that we're never going to get this one on the air oh no 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 I I, I felt pretty confident, confident that it was okay because Tina wrote it and right. it was you know the way she crafted it and you know was, how could anybody say anything <laughs> about it you know. <laughs> Did you ever break? Weren't you known as like the Ice Man or something like that on on Saturday Night Live? Like you never broke, correct? I, I don't think true? so. I don't think I did. One well, the, if you're not breaking in the Colonel Angus or the recording art, was recording studio? Recording that, studio, yes. You can call it the cowbell. The scene. cowbell yeah. sketch. If you're not cracking up in those, you're just you're, you're never gonna break in that. You know, I I tried not to. I tried to. I tried to be in the moment, you know, as that <laughs> character and Right. I think some people probably had a little more fun in the moment than I did, but uh yeah, I tried to I tried to hold it together. Who's the one who's easiest though to to break? Uh Jimmy and Horatio when they were together especially. Jimmy they, Fallon for yeah, sure. Yeah, they would really break crack each other up, yeah. But you never want I mean, you just asked me in my ear, how do you do that sort of thing? It's guess it's yeah. kind of like you can't cheer in the press box is the only thing that I can equate to anything that would come with what I do is right. that you're not allowed to, you know, scream or yell in the press right. box. And also just having no joy inside. <laughs> That helps. Being too. a hollow shell of a man is exactly. that what you're saying? Exactly. That's the that's the that's the discovery. That's the real secret <laughs> that to my not down, breaking. You're a hollow shell of a man. <laughs> well, it's just blackness in there. Yeah, understood. Know, pure darkness. Chris Parnell here on the Rich Eisen Show. How did you get involved in the Seinfeld episode of that? You had you did one Seinfeld episode. We talked about it earlier. The butter shave episode. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was I hadn't been in L.A. that long, and I don't honestly know. I. I, I started to get little guest star parts and right. different sitcoms, and and I think I had a manager and an agent by that point. And no I, kidding. I think I just went in and auditioned and for just, it, and just got the gig. And what was it like being on the set? Was at the very end? It was the last season of Seinfeld when you were there. Oh, was it? Yes, I, didn't, it was. I didn't even realize. Oh, that. I know the whole. I know your whole life, Chris. I even including that that beef with Larry King, you think you didn't have. That's terrifying. Right? You know? <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, it was it was cool. It was cool to be in the. In the, I guess it was the green room where everybody was kind of hanging out, and and Jerry Seinfeld was working on his lines with somebody, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean it was awesome to be a part of that unbelievable show. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live, or download the Rich Eisen Show app.